The junior rear-wheel drive sedan of the big Stuttgart clan is a classic entrance ticket to the world of real Mercedes-Benz. True, made in Germany. But is it worth buying this car used? Let's look at this issue using the example of the last generation, the most popular, Seschke, in the history, W204. Mercedes-Benz C-Class W204 is a record holder, leader, and favorite of the whole family, whose history began in 1982. Since then, four generations have already changed, but it was the 204th that got into the book of records, more than 2.5 million people around the world voted for it with their own money. Is he really that good? All Seschke were produced in Germany, so the build quality was initially impeccable. But the contingent of owners and the Russian service did their job. The use of non-original parts and garage workshops violated the ideal German order. It is difficult to meet a rusty or rotten car. The time has not yet come, but finding a W204 without traces of artisanal repairs is even more difficult. Mercedes requires an appropriate attitude, which, unfortunately, not all of its owners could provide. Those wishing to purchase this car will have to consider more than a dozen offers before a really worthwhile copy comes across. Over a dozen years, under the influence of Russian circumstances, many decorative solutions could give way. Chrome does not live with us, 2,400 rubles for the trunk lid lining and 3,000 rubles for the radiator grill, varnish can turn yellow under the hot sun of the south, door handles peel off, from 1,200 rubles for one lining. Also, bumpers can sag from time to time, and optics start to sweat. But the most unpleasant, sagging doors. However, it is treated without serious surgical intervention. So long. With the interior, things are much worse. Finishing materials of this Mercedes differ from those on the more status E-Class and S-Class. Artificial leather is wrinkled and cracked, and plastic parts are rubbed and lose their original luster. However, worn-out seats are no reason to refuse a purchase, for example, for 120,000 rubles you can buy an ideal and completely complete interior from the C63 AMG, Napa leather, black ceiling and stylish door cards with aluminum inserts. Salon from the usual, Seschke, will cost much cheaper, from 18,000 rubles. But in the interior you won't find a single, cricket, here it is German build quality, and the air conditioner will never break down, you only need to wash the radiator once every two years and refuel the system. Requires verification and electronics. Dashboards and climate control units fail at Seshex if moisture gets inside. It happens that the stereo system fails, the CD drive breaks down. A working unit from disassembly will cost 3,000 rubles, and the installation can be done independently. Many of these problems fell within the warranty period and were solved by official dealers, but there are cars whose owners did not pay attention to such little things and continued to operate. A clean and well-kept interior, a small number of owners and careful handling, in fact, guarantee the proper operation of all comfort systems. But still, when buying, it is recommended to carefully check each button. Repairing a Mercedes is a costly business. Engines. In Russia, cars with a 1.8-liter petrol four turned out to be the most popular and massive. Until 2010, mechanical superchargers were installed, remember the compressor nameplate on the trunk lid, and then a turbine appeared. Our engine was already presented in three versions, 156, 184 and 204 horsepower. The difference was solely in the software and depended on the configuration of the car. The two less powerful options are more common on the market. If you call any serviceman the index of this motor, M271, you will be promised to see a bitterness and adversity. The unit is really not the most reliable. There are problems with the crankcase ventilation system, the oil filter housing is leaking, there are failures at idle, and engine oil can get into gasoline. But the weakest link of these engines is the gas distribution mechanism. The chain can stretch much before the appearance of a six-digit number on the odometer, although it is formally designed for the entire life of the engine and does not pass diagnostics according to technical documentation. Deformation most often does not lead to link jumping, although this happens, notifying the owner in advance of the need to visit the minder with the characteristic tinkle and the check engine lamp off. Along the way, the master will also sentence the couplings of the phase shifters. The repair will cost 80,000 to 100,000 rubles with spare parts, asterisk, the chain itself, the tensioner and three gaskets. Therefore, connoisseurs choose the old and reliable, a 3-liter V-shaped gasoline engine. But he also has the problem of the timing chain drive, however, it occurs at much higher mileage.
Another ailment is oil leakage on the back of the cylinder head. But, in general, the motor is reliable and will work properly, subject to quality service for many years. All W204 gasoline engines suffer from a number of the same sores that can lead to costly repairs. Firstly, the dry belt rollers whistle, which need to be regularly inspected. Every 50,000 kilometers you need to change the entire kit, which will cost 3,000 rubles for a part and a couple of thousand for work. Secondly, the thermostat quickly fails, freezing in the open position. During the cold period, the car cannot warm up for a long time. The part will cost one and a half thousand rubles, and YouTube and a standard tool kit will help with self-installation. And, finally, thirdly, the crankcase ventilation system freezes over. If the engine is not warmed up, engine oil can enter the intake system. Next, oil starvation and a jammed engine. Conclusion, such a Mercedes needs to be warmed up at idle. To meet a diesel, Seshka, is like finding a gold coin in the subway. It's a pity, because the diesel 170, or 204 horsepower 2.1 liter engine is the most reliable and unpretentious in the lineup. Servicemen have a minimum of claims to it. We will not consider the 6.2 liter 457 horsepower AMG gasoline engine, because such a car has little in common with the usual, Seshki, and costs an order of magnitude more expensive. Transmission for the 204th, they offered three types of transmission, mechanics with six gears and two automatic machines, five and seven speed. Mechanics are a rare beast. You will find only a few offers on the market, but the reliability of the assembly is on top, only standard clutch replacements. With machine guns, there are much more questions. At first, all Seshki were equipped with a five-speed automatic. Its problems are associated with improper operation and overheating shifting gears to a complete stop of the car, as well as a clogged cooling radiator, lead to premature failure of the unit. This happens not earlier than 100,000 to 150,000 kilometers traveled. The 7G Tronic automatic machine has a whole bunch of problems, gasket leaks, electronics bugs, a small torque converter resource, and early failure of the speed sensor. Most often, the shortcomings appeared on powerful machines, V6 owners even talk about cases of destruction of the bell and automatic transmission pump. A used gearbox will cost 25,000 rubles, and a restored and warranty one will cost from 40,000 rubles. Suspension and Brakes Suspension is the strong point of the Tseshki. She is reliable and unpretentious. Even wheel bearings, 1,180 rubles for the front and 6,255 rubles for the rear, go for a long time although the front ones require maintenance every time you visit the technical center. Solid blocks of trailing arms may wear out over 60,000 kilometers, but they are sold separately for 1,400 rubles apiece. The first major suspension repair will come after 100. It will be necessary to replace the shock absorbers, 17,000 for the front pair and 7,000 for the rear. The front pads will last for 15,000 kilometers, and the rear pads for 50,000 and even 60,000 kilometers.